All right, guys, so we're back with an Obsessions video. I told you guys on Instagram I was doing it. Some of you are very impatient. I know. I was waiting for a brighter day to record. This is as bright as it's going to get. We have a lot of cloudy days coming. Uh, this one, first one was not going to be an Obsessions, but I get asked every single time I post it on Instagram, and I do post it a lot. So for that reason, I'm adding it into the Obsessions just so that I can link it for you guys. I have no idea what... What is the brand? What is the brand? Biozo? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know the brand of a lot of things that I buy because it's not sponsored. It's never sponsored. So I just, I'll, I look at the functionality. I know it's a stepper. It's red and that's all, all I can tell you. Um, so whenever it asks me, I'm like, I have no clue. I got it on Amazon. Watch the video because it's linked. Um, this one specifically goes side to side. I like that because I feel like I get better glute engagement. You don't like it though, right? No. You like up and down. Yeah. So um, think about that for preference, I guess. Someone said if it was easy on the knees, I, I can't answer that. Cause I don't really have knee problems. I don't want to be like, yeah, it's fine. You know, I have no clue. I have no clue. Every knee problem is different. Right? Yeah, every knee problem is different. So I don't know if it's gonna be okay or not. Um, anyways, I like it a lot. I do it a lot. It's a great way to get some hit cardio while also engaging those muscles in your lower body. Um, so you guys have seen me post it a lot and every single time you ask me. So it's gonna be there. It's gonna be linked with everything else. The rest of everything is beauty. So we're gonna go upstairs for that. We also have this random ladder. Don't, don't pay attention to it. Hurry up, baby. Chop, chop. Get on it. We're replacing all our lights. Um, and, well, they're more modern LED lights that are dimmable as well as you could change the how cool or warm they are because I, my pet peeve is those yellow freaking lights. I hate them. I mean, sometimes I like them when I want to chill, but if we're recording or I'm being productive or I'm creative and, you know, during winter especially because it gets so dark, I want the light to be crisp and daylight and, you know, feel good. Um, so we're replacing all our lights. Anyways, in the room, the my room. <laughs> Okay, so in here we have two things to show you guys. Ladies, listen up. Best underwear ever. Amazon Essentials. I mean, I didn't even know Amazon created like an Amazon Essentials, but I love it. I bought you a sweater, I think, right? Yeah. It was very, like, a basic cut, nice sweater. Um, inexpensive, which is awesome. And then underwear. Oh my God, ladies, I bought a five pack for $10. Can you beat that $2 uh, uh, underwear? We're used to paying five to $5.99 per pair of underwear, which is insane. Anyways, these are amazing. I've already bought three packs. And if you want to compare them to something, they, they're kind of like um, Target's, like complete knockoff of Target's cotton. They have like this nice elastic. They sit very flat. The only problem, and I would keep buying them from Target, even though it's more expensive, the only problem is they don't come out with like new colors for like ever. So they have the same basic colors forever. Um, and I already have them all. I have like five black pairs and like five nudes and whatever. So they're like this, but they come in so many different varieties. I've already washed them plenty of times. They hold their shape. Um, my favorite thing about them is they don't bubble and they stay flat to your skin. Uh, super important for me. Anyways, they're really good. I would size, if you're in between sizes, just size up with them, because I bought mediums and <laughs> I needed to get a large. So size up with those, they're a good find, save yourself some money, and then the other thing is jeans. Okay, all from Amazon. <laughs> these are gems, absolute gems. I'm also wearing a pair, uh, these white ones, which I like a lot. Uh, very stretchy. I'm just, I have the tag on it still because I'm debating on size. This is a nine. Um, and then I got black ones as a, a four in a, wow, in a 11. And I think I kind of like that fit a little bit more for me. They're junior sizes, so you have to size up. Super stretchy. So they fit really nice. They go up on the waist. Um, as you can see, they stay flat on the waist, which is a good thing. You know, when you got a small waist and a big booty. So you see the white ones. I'm going to show you guys the black ones. So these are the 11s. Um, and they feel loose. Like I was told them, like the fabric feels a little loose. There's a little extra, but they still looks good. <laughs> That's why I'm conflicted. Do I size up or do I stay? But you think up, right? Yeah. Anyways, they're so cute. They give you that like nice slimming effect to your tummy. It lets your booty shine through. I like them. I like them a lot. So... 
cute jeans. I highly recommend them, especially if you got big booty. Now, the one, uh, the jeans that went crazy on Instagram everyone wanted to know about, um, this is them. <laughs> They're really, really good. A couple things I need to point out is in the reviews, you're going to see a lot of people saying size up. Don't. I don't know why they're saying that. Um, I did, and it's not necessary. I do have a little extra material. I guess if you don't mind that, cool. But I feel like if I had gone with my size, which is a size seven, they would have fit just fine. And they don't stra they don't uh, shrink. I've already washed them twice, so they don't shrink at all. So if you're hoping it's gonna shrink, it ain't gonna do it. Um, these are ultra super high waist. So if you're really short, go for their high waist. They have both options ultra high waist and just high waist because if not you're gonna have them all the way up to your boobies I read that in the reviews too so if you're really short don't do it but if you're tall uh, if you notice high waist well you have noticed usually ends up being like mid-rise for us tall ladies we'll buy high waist with the idea that it's gonna be a cute high waist pair of jeans and it ends up falling more like a mid-rise jean that's why I like this one because it actually looks like high waist on me anyways I'm gonna try that on for y'all see as you can see, high waist, except they don't seem ultra high waist. They just seem like regular high waist pants. It's just because I'm tall, you know, I can get away with it. But um, super love them. Very stretchy. Um, they let your booty shine through, as you guys can tell. <laughs> I, I like that about them. The side booty, too, looks good because they don't squeeze, which is a really important thing. When you got a booty, you want to you know, let it shine through. Don't smush it. Um, so for that reason, I wanted to buy like all of them, but I told myself to chill. And I only ended up buying two. <laughs> only issue is, um, in the photo, they looked entirely different. But then when I got them, I'm like, kind of look similar. It's just this one has a darker wash. But also, for some reason, your butt looks different in them. I don't know why. Maybe because they're darker. I don't know. I'll show them anyways, because they're, they're really that badass. Like... You want to get yourself a pair. <laughs> These are the other color. They feel a little different. I just told him the fabric feels a little bit looser on this one. It could just be because of the fabric, like the variety, the difference. I don't know. You know, some washes feel a little tighter and some feel a little bit looser. He says to the eye, it looks good, right? Looks like your size. He said it looks like your size. I'm like, but I feel all this extra fabric. But no, it's <laughs> that's how stretchy they are. It works. Um, same thing, because they're literally the same pants. Let your booty shine through. Looks good. Get yourself a pair. You won't regret it. Um, I think I will be buying more. A couple that were like roughed up, but I'm still thinking about which ones I want. Anyways, we are done in the you, closet. You did buy more underwear before we did this video, right? I did. I put another, another order through just yesterday or the day before because I'm like what if there are no more <laughs> after I share it <laughs> I kind of always do that with you guys though but hey you know I get what I need and then I share it with my girls I'm I'm still sharing you know so anyways uh let's go to the bathroom all right so we got beauty products now uh there's quite a few things that I fell in love with one being my tan I don't know if you guys noticed but I look a little bit darker lately um, and it's because I switched hands. At first, when I first got this one, I didn't like it. I mean, I was so conflicted. At first, I'm like, I hate it. And then I'm like, but I kind of love it. I don't know. I think it was because it took me a while to get used to how to use it. My other one was more forgiving. Um, so it, it didn't last as long. So it was one of those, like, if you goof up, you goof up. But it didn't allow me to goof up as much. This one, you got to pay attention while you're doing it. It's kind of hard because you didn't see the color. I didn't see the color when you put it on. Yeah, it doesn't have instant color, but I wanted that because the other one kept turning everything into color. Like, when I would sleep, it looked like I was still there. <laughs> you know? Even my daughter's like, what? What's wrong with the bed? I'm like, I know, I know, I gotta find a new tanner. Um, so I kind of didn't want the instant tan anymore. I wanted something that felt cleaner, didn't rub off on all my clothes. I still think it's a great tanner but I just want it to not feel dirty, you know, for a couple hours. Um, and until you shower and then it's fine. But the problem is when you shower, it felt like 60% of the tan would come off and then you felt white again. So um, this one, Tanologist, um, doesn't have instant color, so you have to actually pay attention to what you're doing. Um, but it lasts longer and it gets you darker pretty awesome things you know um, I'm going to tell you guys a little secret and how to prevent all the boo-boos from happening one get yourself a glove if you look at their tutorial they're using their hands 
I did that stupidly and I knew I shouldn't because you should never use tanner like that. Uh, <laughs> oompa loompa hands the next day. So don't do that. So get yourself a glove. It'll save your hands, but also the application will just look better because you got to kind of work in a circular motion and get it rubbed in. Um, number two, what I do is, which is another obsession, is this amazing oil. But first, uh, what I do to my elbows, knees, feet, and hands is I put a little bit of oil and a little bit of lotion. Um, and I put it on all the areas that uh, are most dry because if not, with this one specifically, it will look horrible. Horrible. <laughs> the next day I was just like, babe, look. <laughs> it looked disgusting. So to prevent it, you got to do that. But don't uh, start applying it right after you do it. Give it a little bit of time. Usually I'll do something with my face. Um, exfoliate, mask, whatever. Let it like soak in and then start putting your tanner on. Um, it's fine if you still have like oil residue. I make sure it is so greasy that it's not going to take a, a lot of this um, color and it works perfect. So What's any nice? Dry spots, hmm? right? Any dry spots. Any dry spots. You'll start noticing like because I do hip thrusts, obviously, I get two little patches of dry spots here um, and the tanner will give me two like circles so I kind of put it there too. So anywhere where you personally notice you have dry spots just go ahead and put it there. Um, the other thing, what, what was my other tip? <laughs> Another odd tip, this one I kind of just recently discovered the last two applications. Um, because it's winter I'm most likely wearing more clothes. I have leggings and usually a top like this on um, at night. What I noticed is the parts that don't have any um, clothing are darker than the parts that do. So I'll usually wear like a long sleeve fitted shirt and put socks on my feet. If not, my feet come out so dark. It is insane. I went to Kohl's to look for sandals. Not specifically for sandals. We, I ended up trying on sandals unprepared and I had the darkest feet in the damn world. <laughs> So anyways, I started putting socks, which helped. I'm assuming it absorbs some of the color. I know that sounds like, why would you want that to happen? But if you want an even tan, then I would do that. During summer, I'm, I'm obviously wearing even less clothes, so it's not a bigger deal. But it's it, it's noticeable. You know, you got, you got a lighter tummy and dark ass arms. You don't want that. So I start wearing like a really tight fitted uh, long sleeve shirt to kind of help with that. Um, if you guys want to know or see how I do it, I guess let me know in the comments below. It might be a bit challenging, but I could try doing a tutorial for this one because it's a little different. Bad. You guys really have to encourage me. <laughs> this is a lot of work. Um, anyways, going to that hemp oil. The reason why I love this is because I'm lazy. I'm super lazy. It takes more work to put on lotion. Sorry. Hubby's like, show it. <laughs> um, you got to rub it in and put it everywhere and dedicate time to every spot on your body. And I'll like... Lately, I wanted to start ditching lotion, but I noticed it in my skin. I've always had very nice skin. At least people always tell me my skin is always glowy. And I think that was due to my routine of always putting on lotion and making sure I was moisturized. Anyways, this I put on my wet body. So while I'm in the shower, right before I'm about to get out on my wet body, slather it everywhere. You don't even have to be precise about it. It's quick and it does the work and it keeps me nice and moisturized so it like cuts the dye I'm not even in half like a quarter of the dime I'm just like oh <laughs> anyways I know I just made that look so pretty um so for that reason I absolutely love oils I also put it in Lila's tub you know because Lila gets dry skin and I don't want something that's too fragrant and like too much cosmetics in it it's I'm always scared about her skin because she sits in there for like an hour, you know, but this is really nice It has a very faint scent that goes away right away. Uh, it is a yummy scent. Anyways, I also like it for photo shoots. Now I'm getting there. I used to just put oil when we did photo shoots because it brought your skin to life. Um, you, you can catch more detail. If you're ashy and you're dry, you come out looking kind of like uh, just, I don't know, like dead. Dead would be a great one, but no, like there's no dimension to your skin. It's just like a flat surface, you know, but when you put the oil, you have shine when the light hits you, you have like highlights as well as shadows and it just looks better. So if you're ever going to do a photo shoot, you better have lotion, oil, something to bring your skin to life. It'll just look better. But then, but then you top it off with the shimmer and let me tell you, ooh, 
you're gonna look good um i have this one i ordered a rose gold one which looks more bronzy this stuff i mean can, can you see my arm good yeah, yeah? okay this stuff is absolutely amazing and yes i slather it everywhere before a photo shoot um it, it turns white but that's just because it has a lotion base and then well once you okay <laughs> once you get it in the skin it is such fine little it's not like glitter that is gross to me i don't like glitter that's like childish i like very faint shimmer that just the light hits you and it's just so perfect and you see that <sighs> That's very nice. Uh, anyways, I've experimented with very many. I've had sprays, but the thing with the sprays is it comes off right away. This one stays on. I could deal with it being unscented because I don't really like the scent very much. You don't mind it, right? But I don't know, it kind of reminds me of tanner. You know, like are you trying to get a tanner that doesn't stink and then you put that on and then you feel like you stink, you know, kind of what I'm saying? It's not terrible. I just wish it didn't have anything. And it doesn't but, make a difference on both. Oh my god, let me tell you, you look like a bronze goddess. Um, so that is my little tip. During summer, I always put some shimmer on my legs because it just I don't know, it looks pretty. Why not? So uh, during summer, I probably use it more often. Right now, I don't really do it because I'm pretty covered up for the most part, except if I'm doing a photo shoot, in which case it makes all the difference. Uh, moving on. K Bella. Is that how you say it? K Bella? But like in Spanish, you say K, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, pore minimizing T-zone. This was an accidental thing. I didn't even buy it. You bought it. Um, and then we went on our little trip and uh, we were gonna do photo shoots. So I was gonna pamper myself the one night before doing the photo shoots. And so I just grabbed a couple masks that I had lying around and he had bought this one. Um, anyways, I had tried it and I fell in love with it, like super duper in love with it. It kind of stings a little bit because it is like a T-zone acne control kind of thing. But I remember using something like this a while back and it worked really well and I didn't know what it was and I came across something like it. It didn't sting me. Hmm? It didn't sting me. Boy, you got like sandpaper skin. I put tea tree oil on and I'm like, ooh, little tingle. He's like, nothing. I feel nothing. Like, you know, you never feel anything, babe. Your skin is like thick, thick as fuck. He doesn't count. Ladies, you never feel a tingle. <laughs> don't listen to him. He'll always be like, no, I didn't feel anything. I put it on, like, I'm dying. <laughs> so don't take his, no, don't take his word for it. Um, Anyways. We actually learned from your mask that you're allergic to, uh, what's Grapefruit? Called? Okay, Grapefruit. so my entire childhood, I love grapefruit, but I would get seriously sick from it uh end up being on the toilet but first it would start with terrible stomach pains like kind of like cramping but like way worse <laughs> and i would still eat it and i kind of knew like i'm like every time i eat grapefruit i'm in pain and then i end up like going to the bathroom like crazy and it's just not good anyways you guys bought me a grapefruit mask unicorn grapefruit mask for christmas and i was taking a bath with lila and I had it on, and finally you take it off, and she said, Mommy, your face is red. <laughs> and I thought she was like messing well, you, with me, you know? You thought it because you were hot. Yeah, I'm like, oh, because the water's time. hot, I'm probably like flushed, you know? And then he sees me, what the fuck is that with your face? <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm like, she told me I had a red face too. And it was like, where the mask ended, I had like an aggressive line of like where it ended. Like, I was super red, and then not. Uh, it lasted it, it was quite like, a while. It was it like the movie The Mask? Well, you were just pink <laughs> instead of green. Oh my god, it was it was bad. I didn't believe him. I jumped out just to check in the mirror, and I'm like, oh my god, hopefully it goes away. Yeah. Nothing else bad happened. It took hours to go away, but by the next day it was gone, thankfully. So then we'll figure out your to but grapefruit. Just, just stay away from grapefruit. I mean, it just took you two decades to figure it out. Three decades to figure it out. Anyways, um. Really good mask if you have T-zone, oily, you know, area problems, acne. I would highly recommend it, but you just feel so nice and soft afterwards. So I got a lot. Too bad they don't do, put it in like a tube or else I would buy that. It's just these thingies. Um, I would recommend that you get it from Target's website though. And I'm saying this because you'll save a lot of money. These are individually $1.99, but they sell them at a six pack for $9 or $9.99 or something. Um, I will link it for some of you on Amazon who don't have a Target. 
it's gonna be a lot more on Amazon let me just tell you <laughs> uh, so anyways I think that covers it I am trying a new deodorant uh, I don't know when I should even update you guys about it because native worked for me for both of us for both of us for like almost two maybe longer three months and it was then kind of like the first two. the first batch yeah the first batch no it may be a little for me i remember two batches of it working and then it just from one day to another just stopped so yeah. it's like i don't even know when to update you guys but update for you guys in like us. six it months just a one person, both or the minute it stops working be like hey it worked for four months um i don't know if not I think I just have to cycle through the natural deodorants, but I'm hopeful. I'm trying this new one and I'm hopeful. I'll let you guys know how that works. I think we're done. We are also recording with the new camera. I think we told them that in the last video, the trip that we went on, that we were recording with the new camera. Do you guys like it more than his old camera? I think it's clearer, right? Yes, the only thing is with light, it's not as... It's darker. It's darker and less like adjustable like with yours you were constantly like you could adjust it with like a flick of his yeah. finger you know brighter darker really quickly without having to like end the video and see how we can change the light and this one it's more automatic so it's like whatever you get is yeah. what you get hopefully less bitching less bitching about what the light the camera. oh someone always finds something <laughs> all those you know camera experts out there Anyways, uh, do you like this camera more? If you do, cool. We're going to link it below so you guys can see it if you guys are camera enthusiasts. What do you call people like cameras? <laughs> if you're a camera enthusiast. Uh, anyways, it does we're going to end. Huh? It does take good photos. It does take good photos, but I still like your other one a little bit more. And the only reason I say that is because I review the photos after he takes photos. And on his camera, it's like everything is the same light. On this one, it's like a fucking rainbow. <laughs> One day you're tan, or one photo you're super tan, the next one you're super pale, the next one you're like, oh, that's a good color, you know, kind of in between, the next one it's like black. <laughs> so yeah, no. I mean, I, I like it once it gets the shot, it gets it perfect, and it's sharp, and it's beautiful, but maybe we just need to play around with it more. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to end the video here, but I do want you guys to let us know what kind of videos you want to see. So comment below, let us know. It's a little hard for us to get back into the swing of things, you know. I feel like everything is so repetitive now because we've done it all. We've done it all. So tell us, what have we not done? Or what have we done that you really like and you want more of? Uh, yeah. So anyways. Working out. <laughs> working out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess, you know, if you're entertained by it, I don't mind doing it. Um, anyways, we're going to end the vlog here. If you enjoyed it, hashtag love it so I know you love it. Be sure to be subscribed. Hit the little bell right by the subscribe button so you're notified every time we post a video. And until next time, bye guys.